the optoelectronics group of Vichy Semiconductor is introducing the VCNL4020. It's a fully integrated proximity and ambient light sensor in a new rectangular package. It has the industry's highest 16-bit ADC for proximity, which gives it some very distinct advantages, as we'll see. The VCNL4020 integrates an infrared emitter and photodiode for proximity sensing, an ambient light sensor, and a signal processing IC with a 16-bit ADC and interrupt function. The sensor comes in a sleek rectangular package measuring 4.9 by 2.4 by 0.83 millimeters in height. That's the lowest height of any sensor on the market. It features an industry standard I2C high speed interface, 16 bit resolution for proximity and ambient light sensing. And I stress that because some of the competitors offer a 16 bit resolution for light sensing, but skimp down to 8 or 10 bit for proximity to their detriment. The VCNL4020 also features an external LED driver to increase the proximity range from 20 centimeters to over a meter if needed. The infrared emitter has a peak wavelength of 890 nanometers. Some of our competitors use a shorter wavelength, for example 850 nanometers, but that produces a bothersome red light when the proximity sensor is active, so we avoided that and went to 890 nanometers. It has programmable emitter current from 10 milliamp to 200 milliamp in 10 milliamp steps, and that allows customization of the proximity sensing range. The proximity photodiode has a matching peak sensitivity at 890 nanometers and an angle of half sensitivity that's the same as the emitter, plus or minus 55 degrees. The VCNL4020 has the best proximity range and best proximity sensing performance of any of the sensors on the market, hands down. No one can beat the 20 centimeter response range. We used our expertise in manufacturing IR receivers for remote control by pulsing the emitter at a frequency of 390 kilohertz turning on the photodiode only when a reflected signal could be present, and making it sensitive to only a 390 kilohertz frequency. This makes the proximity function of the VCNL4020 immune to ambient and other infrared light sources. Most of the time, the VCNL4020 will be in standby mode, where it draws a minuscule 1.5 microamps. When active in measuring proximity, the sensor's power consumption varies with user-defined settings of emitter current and the number of measurements per second. At the highest setting of 250 measurements per second and 200 milliamp forward current, the sensor still only draws 3.9 milliamps. Window size is one of the most critical decisions design engineers make when using the sensor. The optimal window size is directly related to the depth of the sensor. That's the distance from the top of the sensor to the outside surface of the window. It's sometimes called the air gap. As you can see in the table, as the depth increases, the window size increases. Of course, smaller windows are acceptable, but the field of view of the sensor will be impacted. So here's where the 16-bit resolution for proximity is a huge advantage for the VCNL4020. It allows for unlimited air gaps, placement of adjacent components, and provides true proximity versus present sensing. The ADC of sensors with 8, 10, or even 12-bit resolution will invariably overflow or saturate, while the VCNL4020 won't. It's a little bit unbelievable, but competing sensors require an air gap of no greater than 0.5 millimeters, which requires a separate flexible circuit connection and a booster seat for every sensor. 
They've got design engineers simply jumping through hoops. With the VCNL 4020, the air gap is not limited, which allows the sensor to be placed on the main printed circuit board without any special requirements. When the competitor's ADC overflows, you lose proximity and the sensor just detects presence. With the VCNL 4020, you continue to read an increase in counts and can use it at a relative proximity sensor down to 0.1 millimeters. Now if the VCNL 4020 is going to be mounted on the main printed circuit board, it necessarily needs to be able to function with adjacent components, and it does. The offset may increase to as much as 25,000, but that still leaves 40,000 count headroom. Plenty. Now we know the VCNL 4020 is a great proximity sensor. Let's switch to ambient light. A good ambient light sensor has sensitivity that matches the human eye, has output based on the lux level, not on the type of light source, and requires no off-sensor calculations. In other words, it doesn't put processing burden on the microcontroller. There are a lot of different light sources with lots of different wavelength components. A tungsten bulb, for example, has a lot of infrared in it. Fluorescent lamps will have output spikes at varying wavelengths and many white LEDs have a large blue component to them. There are two methods sensors use to measure ambient light. A two-channel method where the visible and infrared light is measured and the infrared portion is subtracted. And a single-channel method which takes advantage of proprietary filtering techniques allowing the sensor to measure just the visible light directly. The two-channel method is most commonly used. Unfortunately, it requires the microcontroller to perform calculations before a light level can be determined. It has a gain that is not matched to the performance of the photodiode, and, as we'll see, has relatively poor performance when measuring halogen and cool white LEDs. The single-channel method requires no off-sensor calculations. The lux level is a factor of the output counts. The gain of the sensor can be matched to the photodiode during manufacturing, and it has relatively good performance. Now, if you haven't guessed already, the VCNL4020 uses the single channel method. Let's compare the performance of the VCNL4020 versus a leading competitor sensor using a lux meter for comparison. Both sensors have fairly poor performance when sensing light from a halogen lamp. In all likelihood, it's because of the large infrared component. When sensing a fluorescent lamp, the difference between the lux meter and the VCNL4020 is smaller, so the sensor performs a little bit better than the competition. Using LED B3, the competitor sensor goes nonlinear at low lux levels, which will lead to poorer performance. And again, Using LED B2, the sensor of the competitors is nonlinear response at low lux levels. The VCNL4020 is the best integrated proximity and ambient light sensor available. Try it yourself by ordering a demo kit. To learn more, go to the website shown or if you're viewing on the vishay.com website, click on the link below the video panel. The kit is available at DigiKey, Mauser, Farnell, or RS Components. Thanks for taking time to learn more about the VCNL4020. If you have any questions, please contact us at sensorstechsupport at vishay.com.